Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you here. Today's video, I am going to be covering all about my Tory Burch Lee Redswell handbag here. So just wanted to give you guys a little overview, a little bit of pros and cons and the concept of this handbag. And if I think that this is worth the purchase. So if you guys are new here, my name is Karina. I do videos on handbags, fashion, a little bit of lifestyle and beauty. If you guys are into bag reviews, make sure that you leave me a thumbs up so I know that you guys love these kinds of videos and I would do a lot more on my bag collection and some reviews and also leave me the bags that you are like eyeing right now because I might be eyeing them too <laughs> and that would like help me to make some purchase decisions in here. That said you guys, I do have a couple of handbags coming in and I am so excited to do like a unboxing and first impressions for you guys. Those are always fun because it just gets us like the, the first impressions, like the surprise of opening that um, box in like, oh, I love it or mm, I don't. <laughs> so. That said, we are jumping right into this video. Okay guys, so the Tory Burch Lee Redswill was inspired by a New York socialite. Tory Burch is a New Yorker as well and so I am very excited to see something a little more sleek, a little more chic, a little less logo-ish coming out for Tory. So that's what drew me into this handbag. Besides the fact that this is so Hermes Cali inspired, it looks just like the Cali and it's made of this soft Italian leather. So it's just a really pretty, top quality, well-made handbag. The price point is a pro or a con, depending on how you see it. It is under $800, so just short of $800, which is a great price point for designer handbags. However, Tori Burch is not really a high-end designer. She, I would say, more of like a bridge designer, like in the middle. So it is quite pricey for Tori Burch. However, like I said, I think that this is sleek and beautiful and minimal enough that it looks very expensive, and I think it's worth the price so for sure it's just the quality is so beautiful that I think it totally makes sense so things that I love about this bag you guys I love the size this is the size medium so the Lee Reds will comes in I want to say five sizes so there's the petite which is really really tiny and then there's the small this is the medium size and then there's a travel size like a traveler tote which is a little more wide and then she came out with the Lee Red's wheel double the double bag so the double bag resembles more of like the Fendi peekaboo it has you know that kind of like front of it that kind of drapes around the front a little bit and exposes a little bit of the middle and the back of the bag if that makes sense i'll have pictures in here to kind of uh show you a little bit but i do like the double bag it wasn't an option when i purchased this one this is a semi new purchase so it was right before christmas maybe around november um and i have not worn a lot so when i purchased this i really wanted to get the camel one and they were out of stock so i ended up getting the black because i really don't have a lot of black bags and i'm like you know this is just a nice little I don't know, like work totes, you know, it look, it's perfect for traveling. So I decided to go with the black and I just don't wear enough black bags. That said, I think that there's nothing wrong with the bag itself. Like I probably would have worn um, a lot more if it was more of like a neutral color, a cream or a camel or maybe even a brown color. It does come in a ton of colors. And um, so I think that there's definitely one for any taste in there and even the sizing that you need to suit your needs. So for me, I wanted the medium because I wanted to be able to fit my agenda and some other goodies because I feel like this is so good for work that it would make sense for me to just fit in all of my work things. Obviously it does not fit my computer, otherwise I would have loved for that to, to do, but that's what drew me into the sizing. So let's just get into a little overview. It has the little logo in here, which is so small, you guys, and I love it. It has the key and I don't know, I've seen some videos and people said that it does lock. I was not able to lock it. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, but when I press on it, it pops open. So 
there's a little bit of function function for this key but i know that you're able to lock it however i could not one thing though i would say you guys is that this is an extremely delicate leather because it is a, an italian leather that's soft it will show any scratches that you do so the key already made a scratch in here I'll try to show you a little more up close. So if for you to use this, if this is like your everyday bag, just be mindful and make sure that you're okay with it being um, a little scratched, which in my opinion, you guys, it does not bother me. I think that a bag worn and beautiful, it's a bag that shows signs of wear. So it does not bother me. Obviously I don't want like a huge scratch in here, but a little bit of wear, it's totally fine. So it does come with a strap. So it, it has the little um, rings in here to tie in the strap. So I'm gonna show you guys. You pull this little uh, belt like, it, it looks like a belt open. And this is a con that I found. It's for you to open this bag, you literally have to like either dig your nails into here to open or like press the side of the bag. So that's just kind of like, I don't know. It's it's just not really versatile. It's not really user friendly. I think it should have had a different way of opening the bag. Maybe you can, pull, yeah, I guess you can hold the front and then pull the, the handles back. That way you don't have to be digging in, but just not really user friendly. The inside of this bag is absolutely gorgeous like this is the color that i actually wanted initially for the bag to be on the outside this is like camel leather i love the contrast of the black and the camel so i definitely like to wear mine a little bit open like this just so it shows a little bit um it's quite roomy so it does have a big pocket up here and two other smaller ones i still have my dust bag and stuff in here because i like to when i'm not wearing to for it to keep its shape but i do have other things in here you guys i'm always finding like stuff things that i've i've worn it and left it in here so this is what the bag looks like without anything so another thing that i didn't find very user friendly is the fact that it doesn't i mean it's just kind of narrow in here and the smaller the bag the harder it is to get into it so i feel like the medium is okay but I would have liked to have a little more room to stick my hands into. So that's just one one con. It, actually, the only con and, and the fact that it stretch, uh, scratches really easily. But other than that, the hardware is so beautiful, you guys. It's just made really top quality. It just looks, like I said, very expensive. The detail is very thought through. And so I really like that. I don't love the bag with the straps, so I'm just gonna put it in here so you guys can see. The way that the straps work here is a little bit tricky and it took me a while to figure it out. Instead of like, instead of this little bit piece going in, you actually have to twist it open. So a little bit different than, than what I'm used to. And I'll show you guys, I thought that this was quite short for such a big bag or medium sized bag. The straps are just, I don't know. Pardon, pardon my sweatpants. I was not planning on showing you my waist down, but hey, I mean, it's not bad, but definitely cannot wear crossbody just um, on the shoulders, I feel like you'll be fine. Um, so for me, I am not even using the straps. So I want to show you guys what fits in it, just so you have an idea of sizing. I have my Louis agenda because that was the reason why I wanted to buy this first place, just to fit this. And I was a little bit disappointed to see that it does not close with the agenda. So. It fits in and it's one of those things that if I really want to carry this and if I don't mind if I'm going from my car to a meeting or whatnot, I would mind having the bag a little bit open. The belt things like little straps here are going to be hanging out like this. But if it is 
a, a circumstance that I'm going to be going out in, in a city or getting the subway or things like this. I don't want to expose myself too much and I would not carry, I would probably carry my agenda with me or not carry it at all. So phone, super easy. You can actually fit in, even with my big pop socket, I can fit in to that side pocket here and be totally fine, easy to kind of like grab it. I have my little wallet in here, lipstick. I do carry a, a little chapstick thingy. Um, car keys, I would carry the strap in here. I just, just for me not to lose it because if I, if I take it out, it will probably get lost. And then maybe I, a notebook. So if I want to carry something to take notes on, and if I put them together really nicely in here and organized, it will close. It's just a Louis, this is the uh, GG. So it is the large size. It does not fit if you have a medium or a small, it fits. One thing that I've noticed you guys is that this key gets caught every time. I'm like, I always have to remember to pull it out because it tends to just go down and stay inside, get caught inside. I actually like to carry mine with the buckles open like this. I think it just looks a little more casual, takes a little more of the seriousness of the bag out. So I do like to carry it like this. It's not super heavy. It's just like a medium weight, I'd say. For the, the size of the bag, I think that's just pretty good size and pretty good weight. It's not too heavy, not too light, just right there in the middle. I'll see if I have a couple of pictures wearing this just to give you an idea of outfits, but for black bag, it's just really so easy. This will look amazing for the office. So with any trousers, um, shirts, you know, button ups or blazers, dresses, knits, it will look amazing, but you can definitely dress it down with like jeans and a sweater and just to have this girl here as a beautiful statement, you know? One girl that actually was the one who inspired me to get this is Lola Real. Let me get her name because it's so worth looking at her. She wears hers all the time. And I feel like you guys should check it out if you need outfit inspo and are thinking about this. She just wears it so much that I was like, I definitely want to get it. Lola Real Styles, her name is Sasha Simon, and she wears this guy so much. She actually has the Kelly, the Hermes bag, and she does like some comparisons, some photos she will have the Kelly and some others the Lee. And I think that that's a great way of seeing how you can definitely like seamlessly incorporate this and it looks chic and expensive, you know, for the price point just really amazing so that was it for today you guys i hope that you enjoyed this little review here do let me know if you have any handbags that you want to see next in here being revealed first impressions and what fits and whatnot and then i'll see you next time um beijo tchau tchau